Well, a large number of children here in the valley depend on meals at school to get by. With classes letting out for summer, some school districts will continue providing food for those who need it. CBS 4's Imelda Mejia has more. These kids are out waiting for the school bus. But the bus isn't taking these kids anywhere. It's actually bringing something to them. So our buses are air conditioned. The kids sit in the air conditioning, eat their meals, and then go back home. McAllen ISD is required by federal law to provide summer meals to students because of the social economic status of the school district. And while children are provided meals at various schools throughout the district, they have taken the program one step further by taking the food to the kids by bus. We look at our city maps and see if there's a major thoroughfare that they may have to cross. For example, Nolana Expressway 83. Rosa Ramos is a grandmother who is very appreciative of the buses bringing food to help her grandchildren. The truth is that it helps us a lot because every day of summer vacation, our fridge is empty because we just don't have enough. And this is the third year McAllen uses its buses to hand out meals. But for the first time, the Meals on Wheels program is completely run by bus drivers and bus driver aides. What we have found is that a lot of parents would not let their kids go and leave an apartment or leave a home um, when they're not there. Since parents are familiar with the bus drivers, they trust their children to get a meal from them and have the meal inside the bus. The food service department provides oversight and training, allowing food workers to remain in the kitchen where they are and allows the school district to cater to more children in need. Sandwich, burgers, juice, it's all really good because it's a complete nutritious meal. Parents can look for the free meal signs to know where the bus with the food will stop. In McAllen, Imelda Mejia, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. What a great program. It started this week and will continue to run until August the 12th. We will have the complete meal schedule on our website at ValleyCentral.com.